Hi, I'm Therese Laxon from The Beat. Um, it's so nice to talk to you both. Thank so, you. Juan, um, I just first want to say that I was a huge fan of Good Behavior, and I'm so sad that we didn't get more of that show. Um, it's great to speak to you. So, my first question is actually for you. Um, General Luna has a bit of a romantic side, and he develops an interesting relationship with Harley Quinn when we meet her. Um, so we know Harley is attracted to problematic men. What do you think attracts Luna to her? Like, what do you think he sees in her that he finds so uh, alluring? Well, I think he's a very, um, beyond the obvious, beyond the, the beauty of Harley. Um, I mean, she's, her reputation, and she's a famous, um, I don't know what to say. She's a famous villain that eventually has had issues with um, authorities. And to my character, anyone who has has had issues with authorities and American authorities is a friend of us. Um, and I think in my narcissistic point of view, from a narcissistic point of view, um, I would need someone that's like in my scale. And my scale is... Harley Quinn, nothing less. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, and Joaquin, so for you, General Suarez, I think he has at one point, he has to face off against the monstrosity that is Starro. And even for a man as powerful as Suarez, I think Starro is a tough enemy to go up against. And that scene looked in insane on screen. Um, what was it like filming that scene and uh, being involved in so many special effects in that sequence? special effects in the sequence did no. you guys actually have a giant starfish alien no. <laughs> no 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 yes you have to imagine all everything but the the, the little uh, uh, star rose mm -hmm. was real you, you, <laughs> you have it in your face you put it in your face but wow um, the star rose you have to imagine, imagine, imagine it. Mm -hmm. uh, bit so biggest, and it was a little bit difficult because all the the, the team must to to be the same at, at the same time. Mm -hmm. That was uh, really funny, but at the same time, a little bit difficult. Gotcha. And then, since you guys both play characters that are that oppose the Suicide Squad. If the roles were reversed and you could play any member on the Suicide Squad, who would you guys pick? Mm. Joaquin, Diego you pick first? Diego loves Peacemaker. He's going to say Peacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> that to be, to be, I would, I would love to be uh, Harley Quinn. Because, <laughs> um, uh, first of all, I've never been a woman. That should be fun. And uh, second of all, I think she's the best character. And then you could romance yourself, too. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a trip. <laughs> Joaquin, what about you? Well, I, I, I have two, two characters that I love. The, the thinker, because he's, I, 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 it's amazing. He's all in his, in his brain. And the King Chuck. King Chuck oh, is, yeah. is powerful, you know? It's... Normos and his voice is is beautiful. Also, wow. he speaks <laughs> great. I love it. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me. Um, I love the film, and I can't wait for everybody to see you guys in it. Oh, thank you, Teresa. thank you so so much. It was great thank talking you. to you.